Hi and welcome to this week's video for J-Man Can Allotment Diaries. As usual, there's going to be two parts of the video. The first part is just going to be a little bit of progress at the allotment, what I'm actually doing. Hopefully we're going to start on bed number four today. And then the second part is going to be hopefully a little bit of help and advice. But really, it's an exciting time. We've just started spring. In my eyes, I reckon we're starting spring at the end of February. And what I'm going to be doing is some seeding in trays. It sounds really basic and really simple, but when I've previously had an allotment, I've made some basic mistakes. So hopefully I'll be able to help you with a little bit of seeding and how to put them in a seeding tray and that type of thing. Very, very basic information. Hope you enjoy watching the video. Thanks a lot. Hello and welcome to today's uh, video. What I'm going to do as usual, take off the blue sheet. That way I can uh, look at what I've got. You can see what I've been doing and we'll take it from there. So I'm at the allotment today. I, uh, I come to the allotment as I normally do. And uh, it was quite funny because I came in, I normally come straight along the path, straight to the greenhouse. And it was funny because things looked like they'd moved at the plot. And I just thought, it must have been bizarre. Maybe I left it. I've not been in a couple of weeks. I've just been there, come back from holiday. But what's going on anyway? So I get to my greenhouse, as I normally do. And the first thing I always do is grab my fork, grab my spade, come out, move a couple of things off. Fork and spade disappeared. And uh, it just reminded me the one thing about allotments sometimes, because you are open to the elements, you have to be careful in terms of where you put your tools and this and that because you have kids coming in and all they really want to do is come take your, your spades, take your forks, maybe just dig a hole, maybe move it onto another plot, something like that. It was quite funny, I found it comical but luckily all they've done is just taken my spade and my fork from my greenhouse and just threw it into the flower bed next door to be fair. Um, so it wasn't all that bad but it was kind of funny and comical. I feel to leave a message sort of saying Guys, if you're going to have fun, if you want to dig a hole, you know, there's plenty of land you can uh, cultivate for me. But the one thing about allotments is just to be careful of these, of your, of your, of your bits and bobs and don't think, don't bring anything expensive or leave anything expensive here. Okay, so I'm going to give you a very, very quick update on the plot just so you know what I've done and what I've been doing. I've had the plot since uh, about December. Very, very cold, couldn't really do anything. The days were uh, dark and the days were really short. But what I have done is I've made bed number one here bed number two there. I've also made bed number three there. And what, so what I'm going to be doing is, you can see behind me, there's a raised bed there. I need to make a path in the middle just here. And then this is going to be my fourth and final bed. Let's get digging. Now that I've completely dug up the channel, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put some wood in there just temporarily. Again, this is only here temporarily, just so I can see where the bed starts. And you can see there, as so long here you can see, that's the whole of bed three, that's the path in between, and this is going to be bed four. Okay, so one of the things that I'm going to do is I'm going to do some seeding and what I like to do is I like to start majority of my vegetables in either the seeding tray or the little um, um, seeding tray that comes in little individual ponnets. That's what I generally like to do. And what I've actually done is I preferred a bit, uh, I've actually made some compost just to throw in here. I've actually, what I've actually, I've actually sieved this out so this is super smooth. Again, giving maximum ability for the seeds just to come out. Sometimes I found when I've done it in the past before they've been a bit clay or or some of this have had bits of stones in there. It's not been as fine and I think some of the seeds have found it difficult to come through. So what I've done is I've made that fine and I'm just gonna run that in now. And what I will do is I'll do this for all of my um, plants that I'm going to do only because I find 
if, if I do them somewhere nice and warm in, in, in the greenhouse, put them on a windowsill at home, something like that, the plants germinate a little bit easier, I found, again, it's just my personal opinion. Whenever I put them straight in the ground, you've got to come look after and protect them where if I grow them while they're young um, in, in a seeding tray, I found that they seem to get well and then I harden them slowly and then I bring them out but then I can keep control of what they're doing and everything like that. Okay so what I'm going to do is, what I've decided to do is, I've decided to do some onions by seed. Okay, I am going to do some bulbs but I've never done them with seed before so I'm going to do some onions. Um, and as you can see here these are the type of onions that they are again most of the information is on there it does say on there um, they are a large shape of variety um, exhibition quality and then when you buy the package you normally see at the back of the packet again the red says so outdoors and the blue is so sorry the red says so indoors and the blue is so outdoors and it tells you when to plant it out when to harvest it it gives you all the hints and tips of exactly what to do and, and you know you can buy these seeds from anywhere Clearly, I, I've obviously got these from Wilkinson's, but you can get them from B&Q Wilkinson's. So today, let's do it. Go. So what have we got? So quickly reading that, what we want to do is cover them with one and a half centimeters, half inch of compost, firm, <coughs> um, firm gently, and keep moist. Cover with glass or polyphenol propagator, and keep it nice and warm. Going on, once we're doing that, we're going to remove the cover, the seedlings, when they're large enough, transport them when they're about five centimeters high, about two inches deep, put them into trays, stand them outside for a few days in late May, okay, make sure you avoid the frost, and then put them outside. So, let's, uh, let's get that done. So you can see the onion seeds a uh, tiny little uh, just like that. Okay. All I'll do is put one in every maybe two, three centimeters away. Okay, and once you've done that, what you want to do, just pinch them in, get them covered up, it's that line. And then, all I'm going to do is give them a quick water with a watering can. One of the most important things you have to do, which uh, I'm going to be honest, I forgot to do last year, was make sure you label it. Okay, so what I will do and what I very often do is I'll write on here, I don't have a pen with me right now, I'll write on there onions and I'll put the date on there and I'll stick it in the side, put it there, take a photograph with that on there, then I know that is there. Once I've watered it, um, just cover it with either a piece of polystyrene or cover it with one of these fellas, leave it like that normally, um, saying that for onions, on the back of it it does say seedings usually appear. 14 to 21 days time there is a tip on here when the tops turn yellow bend them over to assist them ripening so that is the top tip and again you get all the top tips and information on there as well i've done it now for the onions okay i've done it for the cauliflower i've actually already done a couple of these for my turnips for um my swede okay and i've also done it for butternut squash exactly the same format Okay, so normally every week what I do is when I finish my workout, I cover it up with the with the blue sheet. But I have been speaking to a fellow allotment holder. I don't know if I can mention his name. I need to check with him whether or not I can mention his name or not. And he suggested actually not covering it up purely because there's going to be a lot of seeds in there for the weeds. It's better to leave it open to the elements, let the seeds come up and then I can actually take all of the seeds out of the ground here so I'm not going to leave it covered up. Also, as I think, again, I don't know where I get this opinion from, but I think if I leave it open to the elements for now, um, it's going to give a chance for the soil just to get a little bit of air because um, at the moment it's been very, very moist and clay so I'm not going to cover a bed up today so you won't see that uh, part of the video. 
Well, thanks for watching.